Hello and welcome to today's video overview of Access Controls in the Jakarta release of ServiceNow Express. The Jakarta release has significantly improved and enhanced how Access Controls work so that the feature and functionality will change in your instance. The first immediate change you'll find is when you look at a form or you look at a specific field and you go to configure the dictionary, you will no longer be editing the access by simply going into the dictionary form and going to the access control tab. Instead, you'll find that there's going to be a related list for access controls here. To properly manage access controls, you'll find a new module called access control ACL. As an administrator user, I can browse these access controls However, you'll notice that when you click into one, it'll be read only. In order to edit these access controls in Jakarta, you first need to elevate your user's privileges. So here as an admin user, I click on my name in the upper right banner and I select elevate roles and I elevate to the security admin role. This will grant me write access to these ACL records. Let's talk about a simple access control, starting with the incident table. The first piece to note is the naming convention. You'll find table-based ACLs with the name of the table and field-based ACLs with a dot walk notation, table name dot field name. So if I wanted to edit the right ACL on the close notes field on incident, I would click into this record here. There's two key sections to an access control record. The first section dictates what you're actually affecting with this access control. So here we can see you have the option to pick what CRUD operation, as well as the ability to edit from the list the value of this field. And you select, if it is a field, where that field is located. So here we can pick any field on the incident table. Selecting none will run on the entire table. However, in this example, this is explicitly targeting the closed notes field. So here we've selected the table of incident. We've selected the field we want this access control to apply to being closed notes. We then can specify the condition for when we want this access control to apply. How access controls work is that these conditions listed here at the bottom need to be met and evaluate to true for that given access to be provided. So for example, here you see a role section. This is similar to the traditional roles adding it to the list, which you've done in previous releases of Express. So if I only wanted ITIL users to be able to have write access to the close notes field, I would go ahead and add the ITIL role here. By leaving it blank, you're allowing all users to have access. However, be aware that it is an and condition between the role requirements as well as the new condition-based requirements. So let's take a very common example. A user wants to create access controls where they'd like to allow all end users of company A to see all the other records in company A, while a company B user should only see company B records. So how do we create this? Well, we go to the access control list, press new. We're going to select the CRUD, in this case, read operation, and we're running on the incident table. We're going to say this is the allow users of same company to read. So I'm going to leave the role blank because it's going to be end users in different companies, but I'm going to add the condition for company is dynamic my company. So you'll find for key fields, key reference fields, this is dynamic option, which will compare a records given field to a user's given field. So in this case, we can compare if the company defined on that given incident is the same as the company of the logged in user they will then be granted read access. Another common example is if you only want technicians seeing incidents assigned to their assignment group. Well, you can do that with the condition of assignment group is dynamic 
one of my groups. And the same goes for location again. Location is dynamic my location. This condition is comparing the location value on that current incident versus that logged in user's location on their user record. So let's change this and let's set it to that example we were mentioning. Company is dynamic my company. You'll notice that again, we're leaving the role blank, meaning it'll apply to all users regardless of role. If I had inserted a role such as ITIL, this will only apply to ITIL users, users who have the ITIL role and users where the company on the record is the same as their company. So again, in this case, we'll leave the role field blank. Prior to confirming, it'll show me my current ACLs for this read operation. And we can see I'm adding a row level ACL. Now that's the really the big enhancement is the ability to do row level security. Previously in Express, you could only do table or column level security. Meaning if an ITIL user had read to the incident table, they could read all incidents no matter what. By adding this condition builder, you're now adding that element of row level security. Meaning even if an ITIL user has read access to the incident table, if a row level condition such as company is dynamic my company or assignment group is dynamic one of my groups is not met, they still won't be given access. So just like that, our ACL for read is in place. Let's take a look at some an example of this by heading to incidents, adding the company field to validate that the feature is working. And as we can see, there's two incidents here, company A user two and company A user one incident. Both of these have been put in by one company. You also have a company B user from a company B. So if I impersonate a company A user who's just an end user, I should see two incidents, that company A users as well as the other user in company A. So let's test this out. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to impersonate one of those company A users. I'm going to head to incident.list just to see incidents. And we can see now I have access to both the incident I put in as company A user two, as well as the incident put in by company A user one. So you can see here that read ACL we just put in because company is dynamic, my company has been met, the user is now granted access. The other key piece to understand is that since my user only has access to a subset of all incident records, they're displayed this number of rows removed from the list by security constraints message. So the best way for a good user experience to prevent your end users or even technicians from seeing this constraints message is to make sure that anytime you have a list view, make the module filter condition on that list view, the same condition on your row based ACL. So in this example, we did a row based ACL for company is dynamic my company. So in a list view, I would want to add a predefined filter for company is dynamic one of my companies. That way the predefined filter matches what my ACL should be showing my user. So let's talk about that important concept of making sure your user experience is clean for your end users. And let's take that one module as an example. So I'm going to come into my incident application and I'm going to create a new module and I'm going to call it my company's incidents. And we're going to apply the same filter that's on the ACL company is dynamic, my company. And we're going to go ahead and submit this. Now the next thing we're going to do, which is also new to the Jakarta release of ServiceNow Express, is the ability to edit your list controls. List controls
The next piece that's new here in ServiceNow Express Jakarta release is the ability then to edit what's called list controls. List controls allow you for lists to edit core functionality such as if the edit button should be present, if there's drill down functionality, and so on. Columns, go to configure list control. So here in the list control, we can edit specifics about how these list views render. We can define which users can press the edit button, for example, on a related list, access the filter, or if you'd like to even omit removing the edit or new button. Here, let's add a admin role to be able to actually edit the filter. We're then gonna press update. So here you could see as an admin user, I have read access to all records. And in this case, even with the module, I can edit and remove the filter. However, as I go and I impersonate an ITIL user, and I click into that module I created for my company's incidents, you can see that I no longer have access to edit the filter. This again is a great way to enforce your filters predefined on your modules and on the queries you put on these list views so that users cannot change a query and receive the security constraints message. This has been an overview of the new access control feature in ServiceNow Express.